Alright guys, so today I'm going to be fishing the Sangamon River. I uh, looked on Google Maps and I found a lake about what looks to be like a quarter mile down the river and the only way that you can get to it is like canoe or kayak. There's no real ramps down here so you can't take a big boat. Um, never fished it before so I got to carry my kayak like a hundred yards down this path and get down to the river and then paddle my way down paddle my way down to this lake and see what's in there. I've heard there's walleye in there, I've heard there's big bass, so I uh, guess we'll just find out. But it's going to take me a little bit, but we'll get down there and see what happens. go. I thought I was snagged. Nope. Oh, I barely got a hook set on that guy. This is promising though. This, uh, I did not expect to get a largemouth in here of any, you know, I expected to catch a smallie or something. And I mean, the Sangamon, this river is not known to be a good fishery at all but that was actually a decent largemouth I feel like this place never gets any pressure because you can't get a boat in here and either that or people are just people are too lazy to kayak because it is a bit of a paddle it took me about 20 minutes of paddling to get down here but really I mean if I can get down here and start getting on some fish that might be worth it Drum. Get out of here. I thought I had a nice bass on. Get back in there. something chasing some shad around so I decided to swim my jig through there and I don't think I've ever caught a hybrid on a swim jig but it's first time for everything these things fight super hard it's just odd that it bit something that looks like a craw but hey we'll take it that's a nice one I'd say it's probably like two three pounds they fight like a six seven pound largemouth though it's crazy we'll get him back Next cast. <laughs> Got a decent little largemouth. This football jig's tearing him up. Not a bad little largemouth. Not for this river. I don't even know there are any largemouth in this river. So. The jig I'm using, I bought this jig a long time ago. I'm not sure the brand, but it's just a little 
little football head. It's kind of got like a brown with purple flake skirt. I'm running kind of a weird trailer. I'm running a watermelon red flake uh, Zoom Speedcraw as the trailer. And it seems to be working pretty well. It's not like too ridiculous looking. It matches up pretty well. So. Let's see if we can't get a few more fish. Looks like somebody had a bad night. You can see where they had to like climb up. Get a few more of those, hopefully. Oh, that's a big hybrid. Like a really big hybrid. He's towing me up river right now. This is going to get interesting. I just got to keep him out of the trees. Literally towing me around like a trolling motor right now. Is that a large mouth or? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a big fish. That's a large mouth. Oh my god. This might be my personal best largemouth. Please stay pinned. Please stick. I didn't even know that Lake Decatur had largemouth this big, much less the river. It's barely hooked, too. No, don't jump. Don't jump. No, no. My God, you've got to be kidding me. That's huge. 
That's every bit of a, that's a five pound fish. In the Sangamon River, of all places. Barely, I had one hook in him. Man, that's a nice fish. I cannot believe I just caught that here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get her unhooked and release her. All right, let's let her go. That was awesome. Oh my god. What is going on right now?